Canada. It will be a messy storm with winter storm warnings already in place. Chrissy Van joining us in Moncton where it is the calm before the storm. It is, I would say, the calm and also the cold before the storm. Minus 17, feeling like minus 26 here in Moncton. You can see I've amalgamated all my fingers together in my mittens. Nothing in the thumb there. And all grasping along one of those little heat packs because you need it out there today. But of course today is all about preparing for the storm. I mean here in Moncton we're looking at 15 to 30 centimeters of snow. Definitely advisable to stock up on your emergency supplies if you need be because traveling around may get very difficult tomorrow because it's not just about the snow Nicole. In addition to that, we're going to have very strong wind gusts could exceed around 90 to 100 kilometers per hour. So once you mix that in with the snow, blowing snow is going to be a great concern and power outages as well. That's right, Chrissy Provinces. Chrissy Van joining us right now in Moncton, New Brunswick, where we already have uh, some winter storm warnings in place for the next system that's coming through. Yeah, Nicole, and I just had somebody ask me, you know, is it going to be that bad? Of course, in the Maritimes, no stranger to the Nor'easters, but in Moncton specifically, we're looking at the potential of 15 to 30 centimeters, something that, of course, you've dealt with before, but add to that 90 or 100 kilometer per hour wind gusts, and that's a dangerous storm. I mean, power outages, of course, a great concern. Of course, we will be the boots on the ground. They're sending me some backup to uh, hold down the fort in regards to the camera just because of those high winds. So we're going to be bringing you all the details through the day tomorrow. As for things heading out the door today, it is cold, feeling like minus 26 with the wind chill. Uh, recovering from a weekend storm in the Maritimes, gearing up for another one. Chrissy Van, how does it feel out there this morning? <laughs> oh, it feels cold. That's the best way to describe this calm before the storm. Feeling like minus 26 with the wind chill. And I do want to add a big thank you to the folks at Freshy here in Moncton because they've been allowing me to take refuge in the warmth between hits. Of course, the big thing is I'm gearing up for all the action tomorrow. The snow will start to fall in the overnight hours and we will be live on the ground bringing you the latest details. I mean, I was in Fredericton on the weekend for uh, storm number two and it, the snow would just was rapidly accumulating moderate to heavy for hours on end and really expecting a similar situation here the big difference for where I'll be of course is the wind 90 to 100 kilometer per hour wind gusts and when you mix that around with snow it definitely makes a dangerous situation when it comes to travel in addition to that power outage is a concern so the advice of the day take advantage of the sunshine that we're seeing and get all the supplies that you may need should you be without power through tomorrow all right, thanks so much, Chrissy. So, so a messy storm system and another messy system on the way for tonight. Chrissy Van in Moncton right now with the cold before the storm. So here's Chrissy Van in Moncton right now with the latest. Well, Nicole and Chris, I'm glad that you mentioned that warm up in the West because yesterday I was in Fredericton and asking everyone what did they prefer, a winter warm up or a classic Canadian winter? And it seemed like everyone here in the Maritimes opted for the classic Canadian and they'll be getting it in full force. Of course, today the calm but cold before the storm, feeling like minus 26 out here in Moncton. Tomorrow is when things will really ramp up and we will be the boots on the ground by the afternoon. We'll see those winds pick up around 70 kilometers per hour could gust around 90 kilometers per hour down by the water so it's going to make things quite complicated with over 30 centimeters of snow potentially blowing around exactly thanks Chrissy so get prepared today even it has canceled thousands of flights and it's moving to you in Atlantic Canada next we've got Chrissy Van dealing with the cold in Moncton uh, and then she's going to be dealing with all that snow yeah, it's feeling like minus 26 out here, so having all the layers on is certainly key, but the sun will be shining today. It's tomorrow when things will really be ramping up here in Moncton and through much of Atlantic Canada. So here we're looking at that 15 to 30 centimeter of snow mark, which I know for a nor'easter, you guys are used to seeing that, but the thing is we're going to be seeing those winds pick up through the afternoon into the evening, and that's a blowing snow a concern. And of course, Nicole, adding to that, if the heavy snow is on branches that are getting blown around. We'll really have to keep our eye out for power outages. That's right. Thanks, Chrissy. So this is how much snow we can get. Start